Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install uh, Java in Ubuntu. Myself, Hathik Rahman, I am an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, and I create videos related to DevOps, Tech, uh, and also AWS. So let's get started. First, we are going to launch a new EC2 instance. Uh, I'm going to go to my dashboard and launch a new instance here. Okay. I'm going to choose Ubuntu 22. Uh, that is uh, the base image that I'm going to use. And uh, you can choose the different one, if you want. But so far, this example works on Ubuntu 22. I'm not sure about the latest ones or others one that will come in future. Maybe you're seeing this video maybe one or two years later. And if it doesn't work, then just try to follow my next videos. Got my install. So um, here I'm going to uh, choose P2 micro. That's fine. There's no need to change it. And I'm going to just choose one PPI that I have already created previously. If you don't know how to create PPIs, then just click this button that will create a new PPI. And then from network settings, I'm going to use some existing uh, security groups that have already created previously, like a dev server. I can just use it. Sorry, uh, I just the wrong one. So, I should put that okay. so uh, then we go to uh, storage. I think eight gigs is fine. If you need more, you can just increase it here. But for the time being, it is fine. I don't need to increase to anything. There is no big things. In the advance, you don't need to change anything. Mostly, uh, just use an uh, IAM instance profile. That will help you to uh, connect with your instance from the browser. You don't need to use like put it uh, connected. You can just use your browser to connect to the uh, instance. So other things you can keep as default if you wanted to change, uh, change it, the termination uh, protection, we can enable it. That's really helpful because if you have production environment and then you just accidentally click the delete button, it will uh, prevent you to delete that. So that is very helpful. Okay. I'm not going to do that because after this uh, session, I'm going to just delete that instance. So. So, uh, this one. Termination protection, stop protection. Uh, so, looks good. Uh, everything is okay. And I'm going to launch. So, once this is launched, I'm going to uh, go to the instance details where I can see whether the instance is up and running. So, mostly uh, these uh, instance will take around two minutes' time to launch. And uh, meanwhile, you can have a coffee break or like, do something else what you want. You, you don't have to do anything at all. Meanwhile, uh, I can discuss what I'm going to do. Um, this is a blog article. You can just uh, view this article. I will give the article link in the video description so you can just copy those things. I'm going to update the APT packages. So that's uh, step one. And then I'm good, just going to install uh, default JDK that will install the Java and Java C. So verify the Java version, it will come up something like this. I'm not sure. And then uh, I will run some uh, Hello World example. So that's it. And we'll connect it. Oh, still not ready yet. So just take a mind. Uh, meanwhile, I have another article. So Amazon Linux 2023. If you wanted to use a different Linux, like Amazon Linux 2023, there is an article also available which you can just use and install. So uh, there are a little. Uh, description uh, connect to that instance let's connect <clears throat> so 
So uh, let's do this job here. So we do this view. Then uh, you can just copy paste. Uh -huh. Just simple copy paste. Nothing fancy. So I. Just need to press Y to give my permission. And that's it. Then I'm going to check Java version. It will take some time because we have to select it only P to micro or something. P to micro. So the capacity is very low. Okay, uh, it's almost ready, almost ready. Uh -huh. hmm. That's it. I'm going to clear the screen and then I'm going to paste it. The Java version it is 11.018. That's good. Um, all looks good. Let's see Java C version. Java C that's okay. Then we're going to uh, copy one example. So you can understand how to create a file. And then we can just copy paste this Java example. We can write some different Java code that you want. So my one is like uh, public class hello world and then Public static void main string args. So let's try it. I don't really memorize those. And then system out in and, and hello world. That's it. Now I'm going to compile it to Java C. And the compilation is done. So okay. in this, I will see two. One for the block class and then one for Java. I will probably run in Java and then um, hello world and um, that should be it. Hello world. That's it. Very well. So, this is a uh, good example how you can install Java on uh, Ubuntu 22. Uh, so, uh, I hope this helps you a lot. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will get more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.